If you see a company that you like, help them out, give them a little love on social media. NW Angel Conf is the hashtag or the Twitter handle that you should uh, tweet out about. All right, next up is uh, Foodly. Uh, presenting is Ish Singh. All right, take it away. Imagine, it is year 2020, and you have just arrived at work in a driverless car, stress-free. You are ready to take on meeting after meeting. It is lunchtime. You head to your favorite restaurant, and now you're greet and with your coworkers, and now you're greeted with a long line. And wait, isn't that what happens at restaurants today? You go to a restaurant, and what happens? You wait in line to place an order, or you wait to get a table. Then you wait for food. If you're hungry, too bad. Then you wait for a check. If it was a full service restaurant, you would wait to get a check or split the payment. And it's a pain for the restaurants too. And there are other restaurant pains like shortage of labor and rising minimum wages. These are cutting into their margins and many are closing down, small ones. Reaching out to customers is very difficult, costly and painful. Is that what still will be happening in 2020? No, let's rewind. You arrive in a driverless car, stress-free, you go through meeting after meeting, and when you reach your restaurant at lunchtime, your table is ready. You're seated. Your food is served exactly the way you customized it. You are enjoying a wonderful conversation with your coworkers, and that is what we call a real lunch break. Done eating? Just walk out. What happened to the check? What, what happened to splitting? Well, that's the 2020 experience, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, we don't have to wait till 2020. Introducing Foodly, the future of automated restaurants, cashierless restaurants, food trucks, is here now. With Foodly app, there's no need to wait in line. No cashier, no point of sale system. You tap anywhere and your order goes directly to the kitchen. You are in control. And you have a beautiful menu full of information to make a good choice. And your payment is automatic. It's happening right now. You might be wondering, what happens to the people who walk in? Surprise, we have them covered. They walk up, you see the kiosk over there, they touch, they can place the order, and it goes directly to the kitchen. Last three months, we launched our public beta onboarded 21 restaurants and food trucks, and we have live orders already happening, massive feedback. We are onboarding eight more, and we have a pipeline of 80 plus. And we are releasing this kiosk. Let's talk about the restaurant market. It's a massive market with $799 billion revenue in US alone. Out of that, 6.6% comes through online and branded apps for large chains. Delivery? only accounts for 5% of that revenue. 83% of that revenue is processed by clunky old point of sale systems. Let's look how much it costs. A point of sale system costs anywhere from 2K to 10K per year. And that's not all. A labor cost, the person who's standing there taking your orders, costs the restaurant 24 to 30K per year per station. Now, that cuts into the margin of a small and mom-and-pop shop restaurant. And we are replacing this with automation, bringing a low-cost solution to small and medium chains and empowering them to compete against large chains who can spend millions of dollars and build that kind of technology. And we'll see what, what, who has done it. In this restaurant market space is massive, and there are multiple players, and there is room for everybody. Chow Now, is a, they're a white-labeled app, and they make each app for each restaurant. So if you in your neighborhood have three restaurants, you will have three different apps. If you have 50, you'll have 50 different apps. That's what their business model is. All set, it's one app, but it's dine-in only. Foodly is positioned very differently. Our goal is to solve consumers' problem, and not only that, at the same time, solve the restaurant's problem as well. When we do that well, now we are the honey that drives the entire business. And with that data, we will be launching marketing automation, which nobody else has. 
And not to forget, we are outcompeting every single player in this market. Our revenue comes through transaction fees, and we are adding kiosk subscription fees as well. Later, we will be charging for promotions, featured uh, listings, text messages, email blasts. We have tons of different options that we are going to be capitalizing on. Let's see where the world is going. Millennials spend five plus hours a day on their smartphones, and they expect to do every single thing on their smartphones. Starbucks saw this trend and decided to introduce a mobile order app. Since we started, it's been growing 1% every quarter. Within three quarters, it has reached 10% of their revenue, entire Starbucks revenue. And that's not all, Panera Bread. Panera Bread just announced they're on par to do $1 billion in their revenue through online, mobile, and kiosk combined. And we are bringing this technology to medium-sized, small chains that can't afford it on their own, but we can do it for them. Our projections are that we will be in 350 restaurants uh, next year, and in five years, we will cross 30,000 restaurants. And this, there are 330,000 independently owned restaurants in US alone. Our revenue is projected to 200,000 next year, all the way to 90 million in five years, and going beyond. Our team, sorry we missed the photographs. I, you can see us right here. <laughs> so Kulneet is over there. Kulneet is a hustler, pretty charming guy too. His last startup, he grew to thousands of users very quickly. And I'll tell you an uh, interesting thing. Recently, a cop pulled him over, and he was about to give him a ticket, and he handed him a foodly card that said, cut the line. He said, what do you mean? He said, um, if you go to a food truck, you don't have to stand in line, use the app. So he got a user and got out of a ticket. <laughs> it's a true story. And let's meet Naresh. He's an accomplished serial entrepreneur. Um, his startup was bought by Groupon. He's had four startups. He's a successful serial entrepreneur, uh, to say the least. We brought him on as an advisor. We thought we need some help, and he can guide us. When he saw the action, he just couldn't sit on the sidelines. He said, I'm jumping in. I'm joining the team. And welcome, Naresh. Thank you. I'm Ish. I'm also a serial entrepreneur. Um, my last business, I built it to $4 million, uh, in annual revenue and also built an e-commerce platform and processed millions of dollars in transactions for our customers. So e-commerce and mobile commerce is very familiar and a solid piece for me. And one more thing, what could that be? We just signed a 40 ch location chain. It's the fastest growing sandwich chain. They've signed us up to, and it's called Ike's Place. It's a wonderful sandwich. I went there and tried it. They're not in Seattle, but they're in Phoenix. You guys should fly down there and eat their sandwich. <laughs> That's good. Seriously, I actually feel like buying a ticket and going tonight. <laughs> They're launching with us first cashierless restaurant in January 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, the era of cashierless restaurants, food trucks, cafes, and workplace cafeterias is here now. We can make it happen faster, so join us. Thank you for your time. I'll take your question. So um, thank you for an a great pitch and an, and an enlightening experience. And also, I want to thank the due diligence team, Martha and Chun, Ken and Richard. Um, like all the teams, we explored several areas. And I'd like to highlight the strength of this team's technical skills and business acumen. Ish has been the sole developer, and his background in e-commerce has been invaluable to create a service like this. Because Foodly is more than a consumer app experience. So when I first saw the pitch, that's what I thought. Um, it was, and then the more we dug into it, the more I realized there's, there's just a lot more to it. It's uh, back-end services and hardware to automate restaurant processes. Um, we do have a few remaining questions. The first is, um, we know your burn rate is low based mm -hmm. on the research that we did, um, and you don't need the funds immediately. So if you should win, what would you use the, how, how would you use the funds to grow Foodly? Look, three guys, you give them 150K, where are they going to go? Vegas. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, don't tell my wife that, please. <laughs> so we don't actually need the money because we believe in frugality. 
We believe we can outcompete our competitors by spending very little because we can innovate. And, but we will need money because it's a massive, massive market and we can dominate this market. And that's what we, we are here for. We will take this money and go raise more money because we will need it when we are ready to grow. And so we will use the funds that we raise now and in future, we will use it for growth. None of us are taking salary. And another thing I would like to add, I put in 50K at the start of this business, and now we're, me and Naresh combined are adding another 50K um, to fund this even further. We don't need that money yet, but when we need it, we'll already have it on hand. So you uh, mentioned your previous business, Kindbase. Mm -hmm. um, what are the implications to Foodly if you turn Kindbase into a nonprofit? Actually, Kindbase um, started, it should have started as a nonprofit. If the whole goal is to help nonprofits. Um, one good news I'll share this year, we helped save a nonprofit that's been 40 year old nonprofit local that was going to go under. We helped them uh, raise enough funds. Um, the implication to Foodly is nothing. The company structure will remain the same. We will issue one restricted license to the nonprofit for the use of software in a fundraising environment. It's the exact same software, it's used in fundraising. Uh, and so the nonprofit will have the ability to serve other nonprofits, and so it will have no impact on um, the business. The business owns the IP, they will simply uh, issue a gratis license or as a grant. So you talked a little bit about the competition. Um, mm -hmm. Clearly, you're not the only player in this field. Uh, but why would a diner choose Foodly over a competitor like Allset, which got cut off? So um, if you look at this market space, there are many players, because there is room for everybody. The other thing is Allset is taking a different approach. They're thinking by giving you $10, because they've raised $8 million, they can just give you bunch of money to actually get your orders. That's not how people use apps or anything in life. They use it when they love it. Our goal is to build something that people love, use, and then talk about it. Nobody's talking about all set. They've just raised money by giving, for him, for example, they would give him 50 bucks, he will spend that 50 bucks and produce five orders. Now they have numbers to go to VCs and say, hey, we've you know all this traction. That's not how we are doing it. We are doing it purely organic by feedback, learning from the consumer, making sure that they love the product. If it's not there, we're gonna keep working at it. Also, we're solving problems for restaurants. None of the other players are doing it. Um, did so, every, oh, go ahead. We still have one minute, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, the restaurants are the ones who get the customers. You're not coming in for the app, you're coming in for the food. And what we are doing is we are enriching the consumer's experience and the discoverability of that and the whole process of transaction, automating and make, making it friction-free. When it's friction-free, that's what people uh, use. I'll give one example. How many of you remember you went to an airport um, just a few years ago and you stood in a line to get a boarding pass? You don't do that anymore. You use a mobile order check-in or a kiosk. That's exactly what we're applying to a completely different industry, fully automated restaurants. All right. Thank you. Thank you.